I read Black on Both Sides, A Racial History of Trans Identity by C. Riley Snorton. It was for the reading circle I'm a part of, the QPOC reading circle, Queer People of Color reading circle. And this one, that book, it was a dense book. She was, she was, she was, she was all of thick. She was all of thick in her words. I was excited to go into reading this. Like, honestly, this could be considered a disappointment of the year for me to read because I was looking forward to reading it and learning more about like trans history and black trans history in America. Just learning more about that and seeing what that was like. But this book is a very academic book. It's very much a gender studies kind of book that we were reading. And the funny thing is, most everybody in the reading circle did not finish the book. I was the only person that read it to the end. And I sh probably should have did what they did because seriously, like I feel like I didn't learn as much, if anything at all. Cause it's so much, there were so many big words. There were so many big terms and new terms. And a lot of it didn't feel like it was explained and fleshed out. It, it just, it was not written for the layman. It was written for someone who's studying this. If you're studying this book for a gender studies class, you would have to read paragraphs and passages and just set even sentences. It would have like two terms and three really big words in a sentence. And you probably have to go look them up in a dictionary, Google it, and write all of, all of the meanings and the breakdowns of them. And then like take all of that and put it together so you can understand just a sentence. So far, even more a paragraph. So you kind of have to like basically translate this book as you read it. This book is not meant for reading in a month to understand it. This book might take you like three, three probably at the least, three months at the least, like just focused reading on it and trying to figure it out and break it down to understand it. Like it was just, it was an intense read. It was a thick read. But I did, from what I could understand from the book, I learned a little bit about like famous trans people throughout history, their, the times that they lived in and their communities. But it was interesting to read. It had some really dark, intense parts that were just like, oh, that's just intense and kind of raw and very, very sad and kind of just depressing a little bit. It is a really good book for academics, people who are studying gender studies or you're just a really into academic reading. It's not a one-on-one kind of book where you pick it up and you read it and you're learning about racial trans identity through history, like you're not going to get that from it, you know, and that's kind of what my expectation was. So I didn't enjoy it as much. It wasn't that amazing to me. It was I. Bye.